What's up y'all, welcome back to the Bass Leader channel. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. Small little cool video, I'm actually here at my storage unit, storage facility here. I had to pick up a couple stuff. I'm actually going away for two weeks for some army training up in Georgia, so I had to come here and moving into a house at the end of the month, so it's gonna be like a complete crap shoot when I get back. So just trying to organize some things, get things in order. Picked up some boxes, some of my gear that I need to take with me. And uh, here's some gear that I have, some of the lures that I'm bringing out that I kinda wanna downsize and I want to fit stuff in and I just had a big order as you guys saw from Carl's Bait and Tackle which most of it is right here and I want to kind of mitigate how much space I'm taking up some you know I'm gonna move some of these shiver cranks and bio crawls all this stuff into a couple different extra 3600 boxes that I have here so we've got some more traps from Carl's to put in here. Got my trap box. And thanks to Mystery Tackle Box and Carl's Bait and Tackle Catch Co. That's what this video is brought to you by today. I have completely filled up my rattle trap box. So it is time to kind of bring up this slim rattle trap box. I literally started before I started Mystery Tackle Box, Carl's, Catch Co., all that. So I start, before I started with them, I had about four rattle traps for you that don't know, I do not throw rattle traps that much. I have about three red eye shads that I catch the majority of my fish on. So I just never really bought more. And you know, thanks to these subscription boxes and all the great deals that Carl's Bait and Tackle blessed me with, I'm able to pretty much amp up my tackle, which is awesome. We're also gonna be building my ribbon tail box a little bit more. I gotta bring some of these plastics out to my boat. I keep that in a different spot. So got these studs of worms, the Hustler worm, the Magnums, 10 inch black and blue flake, catch fish off. Waggle worms, really good on a flip shake. So if you saw the last video, you probably saw most of that stuff when I was unboxing it, but today we're just gonna kinda do a quick little organization, little vlog style video, so to speak. Huh, what you think, Willow? Huh? Then we're gonna head back to the house and I gotta pack up all my army stuff, so fun time. So <laughs> let's get this going nonetheless. All right, so this angle looks like it's gonna work. First things first, look at the patterns on these cranks. These lipless are gnarly, man. Y'all gotta get on there, carlsbaitandtackle.com, check these bad boys out. Join Carl's and you get some absolute banger deals. Finishes on these are sweet. There's tons of new stuff coming out from the Googans, everything else. You can find it right there on Carl's. That's gonna be your, your new website, man. Pretty much get all my stuff from there now. There's some, some quality top-notch stuff. So you can see my route trap box, the stable four is pretty much full. I really don't want to jam anything else in there, but I'm going to. Being that we only have three, I'm gonna wait till I get another order in, and then I'm gonna do this all over again and kind of reorganize. Thanks to the baits at Carl's Bait and Tackle and stuff they get out of the mystery tackle boxes, I have completely filled a rattle trap box. I am literally set up all colors, all sizes, all shapes, you name it, it is in here. Now for the deep diving box. This is gnarly. So these are the shiver cranks. Every once in a while I catch myself, I call them shiver shanks a lot. Why, I don't know, but that's just what hits my head. Go about 10 to 15 feet down. These are absolutely gnarly. Look at all the finishes you can get. Another shad finish. These colors are awesome. Again, you can find them all there on Carl's Bait and Tackle. This is the rest of my box here. Really enjoy this color here, so we've got another pin. But as I stated before, I'm going to be mitigating all this stuff. I'm gonna, Jesus, that just scares the crap out of me. That bag just fell off the bed of the truck. I'm gonna be mitigating all this stuff and going down to smaller boxes. That way I can easily get to the colors I want and need and that I throw the most. Check that out. That is, again, all thanks to Mystery Tackle Box, Carlos Bait and Tackle. Another complete 30, I think these are 37 sizes, right? Bigger size, this is, I mean, this is from Bass Pro, but pretty sure that's a 3700 size. Full box filled with cranks, man. So many colors and stuff to choose from. Basically have myself covered for any situation I might come across when I need to pull out a deep crankbait. So a lot of these plugs just haven't touched the water. I don't get a lot of deep cranking in, but this summer I've got a lot more experience in it. I've got lakes that can actually ledge fish and fish a lot more open water. So really, really excited that these Carl's Amazing Baits have something that really fits my needs. Carl's has their own line of the Amazing Baits and some other stuff I got in Mr. Talk Box after organized. But these I'm kind of getting into these vile crawls. Something new for me, but a really, really cool flipping bait. Super versatile, can fish it so many different ways. It's just a real sleek design. I really like their June bug. Those big old green flakes. 
in the sun there. But that is it. I want to take recommendations from y'all on how I should store my tackle. What do you guys do? That's kind of the point of this video. Do you store your rattle traps and your crankbaits all in one box and kind of take them everywhere you go? Or do you kind of put things into smaller boxes? Like I really enjoy the 3600 boxes. I really don't need the 38 or 37, whatever the bigger size is. Here you go. Here's a size comparison. Pretty sure that's a 36. Again, I'm not great on the whole number scheme, but you can see how much bigger this one is. I really enjoy this size. You've got the six compartments to load up. So that's normally what I do. How do you guys store your tackle? Comment below, let me know what you guys do. Leave this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, stick around for more awesome bass fishing action. If you organize your tackle like I do, great, let me know anyways. That way I know I'm doing a good job. If you do something a little bit different, let me know. I'd love to be open to new ideas. I'd love to hear from y'all and see what you guys are doing. So until next video, hope you guys get out there, stay safe, catch a big one, maybe break that PB. And until then, we'll see you right back here on the Bass All Year channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Join Carl's Club, and I promise you you're going to find some of the sickest deals out there. See y'all.